let's check out the first official zoo of Toronto. This is Riverdale Farms. Hey travelers, welcome back to the video. In this video, me and Brad here from Chad Cruisers is gonna check out Riverdale Farms here in Riverdale Park. You ready to see some amazing animals? Some cows and horses and pigs, why not? Let's get into it. Riverdale Farm is a working farm located in Toronto's downtown Cabbage Town neighborhood. The farm is 7.5 acres or three hectares large. You'll get a first-hand taste of farm life from raising livestock like cows, pigs, sheep, goats, and chickens to the year-round handwork or craft programs in the Meeting House. The Riverdale Farms property was originally owned by John Scadding, an early settler of the town of York, who served as clerk to Upper Canada's first lieutenant governor, John Graves Simcoe. The City of Toronto purchased the land from Scadding in 1856. Riverdale Farm was built by the city as a tribute to Ontario's small family farm heritage and officially opened their gates on September 9, 1978. The farm actually sits on the site of Toronto's first zoo, Riverdale Zoo, which closed in 1974. Visitors can still see remnants of the old zoo, such as the zookeeper's residence known as the Donny Book, and the Island House. Between 1888 and 1974, this was the site of Riverdale Zoo. The zoo began with the donation of deer by Toronto Alderman David Lamb. In 1974, the zoo relocated to a much larger facility in Scarborough and became the Toronto Zoo. In 1978, Riverdale Farm opened on the west bank of the Don River, adjacent to Riverdale Park. The farm is open to the public all year round. Let's take a walk around the farm. The Simpson House is a Victoria-style farmhouse. It's a replica of the original Francie farmhouse. The main barn was first constructed in 1858 in Markham and moved to the present site and rebuilt in 1977.
at time of recording, part of the farm was closed down for spring cleaning and tidying up. The residence was built in 1902 by prisoners of the Toronto Don Jail and has served many purposes over its history, including zookeeper's residence, a staff building, a zoo hospital, and a temporary morgue for the necropolis cemetery across the street. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Riverdale Farms here in Toronto's Cabbage Town. If you'd like to learn more about the farm, please check down below in the description for all the details. And if you haven't yet, please head down below, hit that subscribe button, it's free to do, and also like and comment this video of more places you'd like me to see. And you know what? I'm going to see you next time here on Nick Tours.